secret of Luffy straw hat revealed. Monkey D. Luffy, the main character of this wonderful series known as One Piece, symbolic signature known as the Straw Hat, which they call him Straw Hat Luffy, has come pretty much a trend when it comes to One Piece. You see on his Jolly Roger, and we pretty much know Luffy as Straw Hat Luffy, and without the Straw Hat, we can't even look at Luffy the same. I remember back early in the series when Buggy and Luffy were fighting, and Buggy damaged the Straw Hat and was spitting on it, suspecting it because of Shanks, and how Shanks had the Straw Hat, how angry Luffy got, because the Straw Hat to Luffy is pretty much his treasure as he said if we think about it luffy got the straw hat from shanks and pretty much shanks said become a great pirate return to me when you get become a great pirate luffy promised that he would do that so that kind of goes along with his dream of becoming pirate king finding the one piece returning the straw hat pirate it's all connected something that really interested me was during the time skip before the time skip luffy takes off his straw hat and puts it on a rock to go train with rayleigh and then after when the time's two years later he puts on the straw hat and becomes goes back to his journey and now Luffy says these words when he takes it off he says straw hat Luffy the pirate straw hat Luffy's about to take a break and then he puts it back on when he's going back to his journey to become the pirate king and you understand that the straw hat is kind of with Luffy forever so some people have been saying a straw hat he might lose a straw hat just like Roger and Shanks did I highly disagree that he's gonna lose a straw hat I feel like he's gonna have a straw hat until the end he might lose it later on which I have a theory on that and I'll state that later on in this video we know the original owner of the straw hat that we all know is Gold D. Roger the man who became pirate king such a great feat we know that uh he was seen talking to rayleigh as a youngin saying hey rayleigh join my crew pretty much and rayleigh was reminiscing because he remembers the straw hat and we know that roger probably and rayleigh had some great moments while roger had the straw hat and that makes me ask makes me wonder a question was roger known as straw hat roger because we all we know of roger is he's know he's called the pirate king gold the roger gold roger but usually there's a moniker you know like i want to see a mod because edward newgate had white beard i thought what was goldie rogers moniker before he became pirate king did he have one it's a great question then we have shanks the one who got passed down goldie roger gave his straw hat to shanks uh pretty much uh, a person who uh, sweeps the floor on goldie roger the pirate king's crew a cabin boy and shanks was interesting about shanks is i think shanks was actually called straw hat shanks because when he came back from the east blue giving a straw hat in his arm to the next age wipers like uh what happened to your uh, straw hat and you're seeing his tra straw hat in your arm people were wondering after you came back from East Blue and he said he bet on the age so I think he might have been called Straw Hat Shanks we all know him as Red Hair Shanks now but it's kind of interesting to think about and something to ponder something that always hits me is when Shanks is crying at the execution of Gold D. Roger now some people say he's just crying because his captain got uh, executed I do not think it's something as that I think it's because it has something to do with the Straw Hat we see he put the Straw Hat over his eyes and I think that be is because Roger probably told him to return the Straw Hat when he becomes a great pirate and Shanks really did not become a great pirate at that point and that's why he feels that at that point he feels like he failed and that's why he was with tears in his eyes it's a huge theory that shanks is gonna die and i'm 50 50 on it more on the shanks dying part i believe he might die it looks really cool if he sh he dies and it helps build up the blackbeard versus luffy fight but definitely if shanks dies it'll be kind of reminiscent of goldie roger dying what if shanks dies before luffy becomes a great pirate and accomplishes that the dream it'll be kind of a trend a cycle now going back to the void century i definitely think there was a void century member with the straw hat probably Probably someone who was carrying the D. It could be from the monkey family. It could be from the gold family. I personally think it's from the Joy Boy. Yes, I believe Joy Boy. There's someone in the world of One Piece right now called Joy D something that we do not know. But I feel like Joy Boy from the Void Century carried the straw hat. He's been hyped up in Fishman Island. And I believe he has carried the straw hat. And it's going to be kind of cool when we see the whole Void Century flashback. A huge flashback talking about everything that went down in that Void Century. Those 100 years that have been wiped off from history. Now, something I really want to disagree with is people saying the straw hat is actually the One Piece. I just don't see it as that. It would be kind of like lame that Roger had the One Piece before he even became Pirate King, Shanks too, and then Luffy before he became Pirate King had the One Piece all along. You think he was searching for it. So people have been saying the straw hat is One Piece. I highly disagree. That would be because Oda already said the One Piece is not going to be no friendship BS. So why would he put the straw hat BS as the One Piece? I do not see Oda doing that. It's been built up the story for multiple decades. Yeah, this is 
is not going to be uh, the, the One Piece. Now, something that people have been buying into is the Straw Hat actually is not the One Piece, but it leads to the One Piece, kind of like a road to it, if you understand what I'm saying there. But I definitely do not agree with this. I don't think the Straw Hat leads to the One Piece. Uh, it just, I won't, it wouldn't sit right with me, the Straw Hat leads to the One Piece. Yeah, yeah, I, it, I could see it going down, but like for me personally, I do not see it. You know, just my personal opinion. I don't think the Straw Hat leads to the One Piece. I feel like that's going to be kind of like a what the, so Luffy had the key to the One Piece the whole time. He's cheating. You know how angry Luffy got when uh, Usopp almost uh, spoiled the One Piece for Luffy? Luffy was pissed. Why would he uh, go and uh, have the key to sell to the One Piece? It can be interesting. I don't see it happening. Voice of all things. Some people say that the Straw Hat itself is what inherits the voice of all things. Uh, another thing which I highly disagree with. There's a lot of things I disagree with the Straw Hat. I don't think it has anything to do with the voice of all things. We've seen Goldie Roger. He had the voice of all things when he was not even carrying the Straw Hat. Uh, I just do not think the voice of all things is Straw Hat connect. I do not think this is the true secret of the Straw Hat. Now we know the job of an actual straw hat is to protect you from the sun. And what really interests me is the fact that this straw hat, some people have been saying, and I kind of like this, but I don't know, I'm not too sure about it. Where the straw hat is laced with hockey, and it's kind of like protecting Luffy from situation. Now, I think to debunk this is that uh, Buggy destroyed the straw hat in the beginning, but that would be kind of cool. Not like a, a strong hockey, who knows? But I think that the Buggy thing probably pretty much debunked that. But it would be kind of cool if that was something that uh, gets brought up later. Like, Luffy, what if Luffy, when he's fighting, actually laces the straw hat with hockey arm and hockey and it fights blackbeard with it doing like headbutts and everything like crazy stuff he already does he has some attack called the bell commie so who knows uh interesting stuff you know, something that always brought a smile to my face is seeing the kids at Fisherman Island ask Jim, ask the adults for a straw hat, and they were kind of hesitant about it. But then Jimmy says, "I'll go upstairs uh, on the surface and I'll pick it up." You know what I mean? Like uh, he'll go to the surface and he'll pick up and he'll try to see if he can find a straw hat. The straw hat is becoming worldwide, even under the sea. It's becoming worldwide. He saw that reference I did there. So I think that the straw hat himself, it's kind of like Luffy's signature. It's crazy because I don't think Roger and Shanks became this famous with the straw hat, and Luffy's kind of doing that. And he might even have it all the way to the end of the story, knowing a straw hat Luffy, and that's gonna be the new legend, the straw hat. The secret I believe the straw hat is is it goes down to Roger. Roger said the Shanks would turn. I believe that Roger said the Shanks, it's a theory. I believe he said the Shanks would turn when he become a green pirate. Shanks did not do that, but Shanks let someone else inherit the will once he was a great pirate. I think Luffy's gonna do the same thing with Shanks' son. I did a theory about this a video like a while back. I feel like Shanks' son is gonna inherit the straw hat from Luffy, and that's gonna be Luffy pretty much saying that uh, I become a great pirate pirate because I believe that Shanks will not survive until the end of the story. I believe Shanks is going to die. I told you I'm 50-50 about this, but I'm 51-49 now. I believe that Shanks is going to die. It's a big thing. If he doesn't die, I wouldn't be like, it's, it's just, I believe what I personally believe he's going to die. is going to help build up the fight and this will be interesting if Shanks dies. Luffy does not give return a straw hat to Shanks but actually inherits it to someone else and that's the true secret of the uh, straw hat. It's not to return to the, uh, once you get, become a great pirate. It's to actually inherit to someone else. We saw Shanks at Marine Ford. He had the straw hat and he saw that Luffy did not become a great Pirate said, Give it back to Luffy. He told Buggy, he persuaded Buggy to send that back to Luffy, and it pretty much goes with the whole theme of Shanks will not probably get the straw hat back until like until he's uh, he's dead. You know, once he'll get the straw hat back is when someone, someone else inherits it. His son, who knows. Yes, but it definitely has to do with inheriting wills, the will of D, the void century, a lot of big things. The straw hat has huge mysteries revolving around it, and it makes me hype for the future of One Piece. Things like this, these mysteries. One Piece is crazy good when it comes to mysteries. Like a hundred thousand mysteries of One Piece, and this is one of them, the straw hat. Does it have some big underlying thing to it, or is, is it just a straw hat that was inherited? Give me your thoughts in the comment section. I want to see what you guys think, and what do you think about these straw hat on my theory about it? The secret of the straw hat being it returning it is not returning it but inheriting it to someone else someone else who has this specialness that can carry this unique item known as the straw hat this unique hack known as the straw hat but definitely if the true secret to luffy monkey d luffy's straw hat is the fact that he's inheriting it just like shanks just like gold d roger instead of returning it to the previous owner then i have a big thing that might go down now we've seen in other series now i'm not trying to compare because one piece is superior to these other series one piece is the best you know i feel that way Naruto, which I've seen Naruto's enjoyable series, Bleach. I don't know about Bleach, but Naruto, yeah, Naruto. They had a Boruto movie and all this stuff, the second stuff. Now, I personally don't think it's not gonna be right because I feel like what can the 
character the new character the like the person that inherits luffy's will what are they gonna obtain like luffy has already found the one piece he finished off roger's job that roger did not complete i feel like the fact that all this has been done a second thing even Oda himself said he does not after one piece is done he's done he's finished he's not gonna do anything extra but what if there's like a movie a one piece movie about shanks son inheriting the will and he has his straw hat and he has to obtain it. and the movie goes through his whole life in like two hours three hours not like the one piece which had many episodes and many chapters it's like run down a short version of it It'll be kind of interesting to see this, and we see Luffy as an older person. Ever, you ever think about Luffy being an older person? That's gonna be remarkable. Seeing Luffy with a beard, or Luffy looking like Rayleigh, or like a white beard. It's gonna be crazy thing because we all know Luffy as this this young, uh, funny looking main character who makes everyone laugh and smile, and just a great, amazing person. Yes, but definitely leave your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me what you think. I want to see all your guys' different opinions. Like and share if you enjoyed. Like and share only if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more One Piece videos. I'm the Legend Mac, and I'm gone.